All right, two things has been hidden from y'all. Number one, I had to change into different robes because I didn't bring that many either. I started out with red today. It was a big, huge tear. It ain't gonna get any smaller because these are made for summer robes so we can survive out here, it's hot. So anyways, then on my way back here, this is falling apart and this is, look at this, see that? Um, I need more robes. I need more robes because I'm ordaining possibly the first woman under this school. We're doing a lot of work out here, a lot of advocation out here with the immigration bill situation. Uh, myself and Venerable Basu has been meeting with lawmakers and representatives. And so environmental protection earlier, I gave that teaching over there and then this thing fell apart. So, ooh, I gotta wrap this up soon. Um, for those who like to continue to support my path, I'm here on a one-way ticket. Not sure how long I'm going to stay here, but that's also dependent on you guys. Uh, pressing the link tree and making your donation so that we have all of the requisites in the school to ordain someone and to help out along the way with gasoline, food, lodging. These are the four requisites that the Buddha gave instructions for the lay people to help us out. I'd like to say thank you for all those who have made contributions in making this trip possible. Miss Angie from Gulfport, who funded my one-way trip here, uh, but there's a lot more to be done. So I'll see you all soon. We gotta fix all this up and try to fix my robes when I get back. May you all be well and look forward to the first woman being ordained. Uh, if all the right causes and conditions happen, uh, it'll be a lot more joy and especially to all the communities that know her. So take care.